when thou goest out to battle against thine enemies, and seest horses and chariots and a people more than thou, be not afraid of them, for the Lord thy God is with thee, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And it shall be, when you are come nigh unto the battle, the priest shall approach and speak unto the people, and shall say unto them, Hear, O Israel, ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies. Let not your hearts faint, fear not, and do not tremble, neither be ye terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you, to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Israelites, now that you know the beast system is polluted with evil altars, now that you know you can't escape the evil altars the heathens and the indigenous black people have all over the beast system, Israelites, you have no choice but to fight. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? The people who hate you rule over you. I know you have been programmed by religion to stand down and let Jesus fight your battles for you. First and foremost, Jesus is an idol. This idol was exalted in the beast system to become a snare to you. Israelites, everything religion have taught you was meant to disable you. So many people have analyzed the doctrines from Rome and found numerous errors in them. The purpose of the doctrines from Rome was to keep you in bondage. If you weren't in bondage, there wouldn't be a need for the awakening. Religion is nothing but bondage. The Most High did not give us the spirit of bondage. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The scripture in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 15, revealed that the spirit of bondage worked together with the spirit of fear. The Most High did not give us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of peace and a sound mind. A lot of Israelites are not at peace, which is why it's difficult for them to see the truth. If they had a sound mind, they wouldn't be afraid to let the idols of the heathens go. Instead, many Israelites allow the idols of the heathens to destroy them and to lead them on the broad road that leads to destruction. Israelites, let the Most High transform you by renewing your mind. Accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior did not deliver you from bondage in the beast system. Presently, the Most High is waking up the remnant in this generation to remove the chains religion used to bound his people. The Most High is pleading with this generation in the awakening to return to him. A lot of Israelites are not hearing his call. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye said, Wherein shall we return? The reason so many Israelites are not hearing the call, the idols of the heathens have blind their eyes. In addition, majority of Israelites allow the spirit of fear to place a stronghold on them. Therefore, they can't hear the voice of the Most High pleading with his people to return to him. To the Israelites that claim they belong to the Most High, the Most High said through his words that his sheep know his voice and they follow him. If you're having a difficult time digesting the truth the Most High is revealing in the awakening, you must ask yourself if you belong to the Most High. A lot of you believe your relationship with the Most High is solid. However, a lot of you are separated from the Most High. Too many are idolizing Jesus instead of returning to the Father. The sin of idolatry have serious repercussions. If you knew what you are up against, you would realize the danger in being separated from the Most High. Israelites, don't let the idols of the heathens cause a separation between you and the Most High. Your sins will remove the presence of the Most High from you. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. The goal of the kingdom of darkness is to remove the presence of the Most High from your life. 
Once the hedge of protection, the most high place around you is gone, the kingdom of darkness get the opportunity to tempt you. Israelites, this is why you must be mindful of what you do. The workers of iniquity set traps for you all over the beast system. Just because you may not sin through idolatry, sin may enter your life in other ways. Idolatry is not the only sin that removed the presence of the Most High from you. The lust of the flesh will remove the presence of the Most High from you. The lust of the flesh does not produce the kind of righteousness the Most High requires from his people. The flesh and the spirit are at odds with each other. Therefore, you can't please the Most High in the flesh. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. The beast system is Satan's kingdom in the physical realm. Therefore, everything that is popular in the beast culture goes against the will of the Most High. The Satans use the laws of the beast system to enforce the evil covenants you made with the kingdom of darkness in the spirit realm. Now that you know that Satans use the beast culture to set traps for you and to enforce the evil covenants, Israelites, you have to make the decision to stand against your enemies. Living in the land of your captivity is not meant for you to become comfortable. Not only are we serving a sentence for our nation's rebellion against the Most High, the land of our captivity is not meant for us to assimilate into the heathen's culture. The Most High called for his people to be holy and to be separated from the heathens. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself, above all the nations that are upon the earth. A lot of Israelites view the land of their captivity as home. Some Israelites display the flags of these nations so proudly. Every day the heathens remind you that you're not a part of their nations by the way they treat you. Israelites, the time has come for you to realize that you're homeless and you live in a hostile environment. Those that hate you rule over you. You live in the land of your enemies. If Israelites understood that there are bondmen and bondwomen, some of you would change your views about the beast culture and find a way to become free from the beast system. A lot of Israelites are deceiving to believing they are free. How are you free when your spirit is bound spiritually? So many of you want to save the heathens. You want to teach the other nations about our God, yet majority of you don't know the Father. In addition, your spirit is caged. You need to free yourself first before you try to help the very people who is helping in your oppression physically and spiritually. Witchcraft attacks are meant to imprison your spirit. If your spirit is caged, you're not free. Your spirit is the real you. Whoever in prison, your spirit is in control of your life. Israelites, you must take your life back from the Satans and the workers of iniquity that deceive you in the beast culture. When you decide that enough is enough, you have to take a step for the Most High to order your steps. How can the Most High order your steps if you're not moving? The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delighteth in his way. Israelites, what I am trying to say to you is that you need to fight. A lot of you believe you don't have to fight. I am here to let you know you must fight back. I never understand how our people are under heavy demonic oppression and some Israelites do nothing to improve their condition. The religion called Christianity tell his followers that the Most High will fight your battles because he said vengeance is his and he will repay. Because Christianity misinterpret the scriptures on purpose, a lot of Israelites are being destroyed physically and spiritually and they won't stand up to fight back. Too many don't understand what the Most High meant when he said, vengeance is mine, I will repay. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. When the word of the Most High said, vengeance is mine, I will repay, Israelites, only the Most High can pay back to the Satans and the workers of iniquity for everything they have done to us as a people from the beginning. Asking for reparation is not enough for the wounds we receive from the heathens from generation to generation. The word of the Most High said in the book of Jeremiah that our injuries are incurable. 
and your wounds are severe. There's no amount of money in this world that can compensate for the wounds caused to the people of the Most High. For thus saith the Lord, Thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. Israelites, only the Most High can pay back to the kingdom of darkness for all they have done towards his people and himself. Remember, majority of his creation became an enemy when they turned their backs against the Most High. Satan deceived some angels to rebel against the Most High. The book of Adam and Eve revealed that Satan promised the fallen angels kingdoms. Many angels believed his words and followed him. When the Most High take vengeance, his vengeance will be against all of his creation that rebelled against him. But now, O Adam, we will make known to thee what came upon us through him before his fall from heaven. He gathered together his hosts and deceived them, promising them to give them a great kingdom, a divine nature, and other promises he made them. His hosts believed that his words were true, so they yielded to him and renounced the glory of God. When it comes to vengeance, only the Most High can repay to the heathens and the Satans for all they have done. When the scripture said, vengeance is mine, I will repay, the Most High is talking about the judgment he has reserved for all who transgress against him. Israelites, the workers of iniquity made it seem in religion that you're supposed to remain still. This mindset continued to disable a lot of people in this generation. We see a lot of Israelites being attacked in the beast culture and they do nothing. A lot of our people are under heavy witchcraft attacks. Some Israelites respond with, the Most High know my heart and continue with their life. Your attitude towards demonic oppression and witchcraft attacks are the results of the workers of iniquity indoctrinating you to wait on the Most High to do all the work for you. How can the Most High order your steps if you're not taking a step? How can the Most High direct your path if you're not moving? If you're under attack, you're supposed to fight back. Israelites, engaging in spiritual warfare is not vengeance. Spiritual warfare is self-defense. In addition, that's the way the Most High command his people to deal with the devils that torments them. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Israelites, when it comes to demonic oppression from witchcraft attacks, you don't have to tolerate it. You have to engage in spiritual warfare to get your life in order. Majority of the problems the Israelites and the indigenous black people face are witchcraft related. Sitting around and doing nothing is not going to get the devils to flee from you, nor will you overcome the workers of iniquity that conspire against you. The Messiah said some devils could only flee through prayer and fasting. Albeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Israelites, you have a role to play in your deliverance. Sitting around believing the Messiah did all the work for you will lead you into spiritual bondage. The Most High is not going to pray and fast for you. You have to get up and fast and pray to get the help you need to fight against witchcraft attacks and demonic oppression. If you're not fasting, how are you getting the help that you need? If you're not using the sword the Most High gave to you, which is his word, how are you getting the devils to flee? The sword of the Most High has power. When you use the sword of the Most High properly, it will do what the Most High sent it to do. The Most High said his words will not return to him void. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. If the word will not return void, Israelites, you must speak the word against every unclean spirit oppressing your life. The sword of the Most High combined with fasting will unleash powers you have never seen before. The workers of iniquity use spells and enchantments. They must speak in order to cast spells on their victims. Once the workers of iniquity finish petitioning their idols, they perform a ritual and give their idols the required sacrifice for what they are seeking. Once the sacrifice is accepted, the idols will send unclean spirits to oppress the victim to carry out the spells and enchantments the workers of iniquity cast on their victims. 
Israelites, when it comes to the word, you must speak the word of the most high that brings protection for you and the judgment of the most high against the workers of iniquity, unclean spirits, and the entire kingdom of darkness. Fasting is the sacrifice you give to the most high. Your prayers is the altar. If the most high accept your prayer and fast, you gain access to the army of the most high. The army of the most high is fierce. No one can stand against the army of the most high. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great. For he is strong that executeth his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. And who can abide it? The army of flesh the heathens use to protect their nations can't stand against the army of the most high. The army of the Satans cannot stand against the army of the Most High. The commander of chief to the Most High's army already defeated Satan and cast him into the earth, according to the book of Revelation. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us, or for our adversaries? And he said, Nay. But as captain of the host of the Lord, am I now come? And Joshua fell on his face to the earth, and did worship, and said unto him, What saith my Lord unto his servant? And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. The Satans are not equal to the Most High. They are created beings. The only reason the Israelites and the indigenous black people perish in the B system is due to a lack of knowledge. I guarantee when the knowledge of the indigenous black people increase about their God and the way the Satans deceive them, no weapon that is formed against the people of the Most High shall prosper. Israelites, this is why religion keep you ignorant to the spirit realm and spiritual warfare. Your enemies attack you in the spirit and religion teach you to fight back in the flesh. Fighting in the flesh is a guaranteed loss. That is why so many Israelites live a defeated life. The time has come for the people of the Most High to listen to their God and switch your focus to the unseen, the spirit. For we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Unclean spirits and the workers of iniquity attack you behind the scenes in the spirit realm. Israelites, when you get access to the army of the Most High, the devil have no choice but to flee. When the Messiah cast out devils, he simply spoke to the unclean spirits and said to come out of the person. The Messiah was aware of the authority he had in the Most High, the Father. The Messiah did not throw himself on the floor screaming, crying and putting on a performance like many of us witness in the house of bondage, the church, to get the devil to flee. The Messiah simply told the devil to come out of him or her and the devil flee. Israelites, you can cast out devils by the power of the Most High when you gain access to the army of the Most High. The word of the Most High said, I have given to you power over all the enemy and by no means can they hurt you. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. When you know the word, how can the Satans and the workers of iniquity deceive you? The Most High said his words will not return to him void. In the book of Luke, the Most High said he gave you power to trot down serpents and scorpions, and by no means can they hurt you. When you know this, you must speak those words so that the word can do what the Most High sent them to do. Israelites, you have an advantage over the kingdom of darkness. The commander of chief to the army of the Most High is your prince, the holy angel Michael. Most of you don't know him because his identity was stolen in the beast culture by Jesus and Yahshua. 
when you pray, the holy angels that stand in the presence of the Most High take your prayers and bring them to the Most High. It's the angels that bring your prayers to the Most High. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. The angel takes Baruch to the next heaven, identified as the fifth heaven, where Baruch faces the closed gate upon which the names of men are inscribed. The gate opens only to admit the commander-in-chief, Michael, the key holder of the kingdom, descending from behind it with a great sound to receive the prayers of men. He holds a cosmically sized bowl into which the virtues of men enter in order to be brought in it to God. The holy angel Michael is your intercessor and mediator. Whatever the most high the father say concerning you, the holy angel Michael will command his angels on your behalf. When Adam died, the holy angel Michael spoke with Seth and took Seth to the most high to find out what the fate of Adam would be. Everything the most high said, the holy angel Michael executed the words of the most high. In the book of Enoch, the most high said to Michael, go bound Semjaza and all the fallen. And Michael did as he commanded. And the Lord said unto Michael, Go, bind Samjaza and his associates who have united themselves with women so as to have defiled themselves with them in all their uncleanness. I hope you can now understand why the scriptures refer to the Messiah as the word. He execute the words of the Most High. When you engage in spiritual warfare, your prince is there ready to fight on your behalf as soon as the Most High give the command. Because he is our intercessor and mediator, he can intercede on your behalf. The time has come for you to correctly identify the one that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The one that execute the word of the Most High, he is the prince over Israel and the deliverer to the Israelites and all the righteous. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Now can you differentiate the Messiah from the Most High the Father? When you can correctly identify the Most High, this will save you from the sin of idolatry. I hope you can now see the deliverer of our people and all the righteous is not the most high in the flesh. Only the most high, the God of Israel, is our savior, king, and God. The holy angel Michael is the one that execute his words, making him a deliverer. The word Messiah means deliverer or anointed one. The people it was given to know the mysteries will understand the truth that I am speaking right now. Israelites, don't think for one second the Most High doesn't speak to his angels concerning you. Some of you may feel small because of the way you're treated in the B system. Know that the eyes of the Most High is on you. His ears are listening to your prayers if you're righteous. You may not matter in the B system. However, in the kingdom of the Most High, you're valued. But the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Israelites, a lot is happening behind the scenes when you pray and fast. In addition, when the Most High accept your prayers and sacrifice. The holy angels are dispatched to fight against the unclean spirits and the Satans that oppress you. Israelites, when engaging in spiritual warfare against witchcraft attacks or any form of oppression, your target should be the unclean spirits and the Satans. You're fighting against the power behind the workers of iniquity. The reason it's important for you to understand this, when you make the workers of iniquity the target, you're fighting flesh. Witchcraft attacks is an attack against your spirit. You must attack the spirits oppressing you. Remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
a lot of Israelites make the mistake of fighting the people they can see in the beast system that oppress them instead of fighting the powers that come against them from the Satans. Fighting a witch or a warlock in the flesh makes zero sense. You can beat up the worker of iniquity by physically fighting them. However, in the spirit, the worker of iniquity have control over your life because you did not defeat them in the spirit realm. A good example of this is black people protesting for equal rights. The government will change laws to stop discriminations and allow you to have equal rights in the beast culture. But the indigenous black people will not overcome the ones who oppress them still. The reason, spiritually, they rule over you. You can protest every day and get the heathens to change laws to stop discriminating. The heathens will continue to rule over you until you defeat them in the spirit realm. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. Israelites, every time you enter their stores and their place of worship in religion, you give them access to tempt you. For those of you that are trying to figure out what door is open in your life that is giving the workers of iniquity access to you in the spirit realm, the Satans and the workers of iniquity set traps for you all over the beast system. Every time you enter their place of business and patronize them, you give them access to you. When they get access, they come in the spirit realm to establish the covenant. Israelites, that is why you must stay ready. You must have the armor of the Most High on at all times. You can't escape their evil altars. The heathens place all over the beast system. Black people own nothing in the beast system. You have to go to their stores to buy what you need. Now that you know what the heathens do behind the scenes, you must protect yourself. The scripture said your enemy prowls around like a roaring lion looking for who he can devour. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Now that you know the Satans and the workers of iniquity have evil altars all over the beast system, you have no choice but to fight. Israelites, you have to enter their stores to buy your daily essentials. Make it your life purpose to pray before you enter the spirit realm. Prepare yourself for battle every time you enter the spirit realm. The unclean spirits will come to establish a covenant in the spirit realm. Make sure you pray and ask the Most High to protect you while you sleep. All of us will be tested. None of us are exempt from attacks. If you want to become free, you have to do your part and spend time in the presence of the Most High before you sleep. Make sure your spirit is equipped. You're the most vulnerable when you sleep. The scripture said, while man slept, his enemy came, so tears and went his way. But while man slept, his enemy came and so tears among the wheat and went his way. Israelites, don't let the workers of iniquity plant evil seeds into your life while you sleep. The reason the Most High allow you to see what is happening in the spirit realm to help you. The Most High wants to set his people free from spiritual bondage. When you pray and ask the Father to show you what is happening in your life, the Father respond by allowing you to see what is happening behind the scenes to your spirit in the spirit realm. The workers of iniquity will cause you to forget your dreams so that you won't know who and what is persecuting you. In addition, they don't want you to break the covenants. The Most High allow you to see into the spirit realm to save your life. Israelites, don't take your dream life for granted. There are some people who are under heavy witchcraft attacks that they are oblivious to what the workers of iniquity is doing to their spirit. Most people are being manipulated and controlled to the point that they have lost their mind. Wendy William is a very good example of a person under heavy witchcraft attacks. The devils came back with other spirits more wicked than itself and enter and dwell there. Wendy's life is not worse than before. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Wendy Williams is one celebrity example. For the people without fame, a good example would be a childhood friend who had a bright future suddenly lost their mind. 
They are running around in the street naked and been diagnosed with a mental illness. Mental illness is demonic possession. The workers of iniquity love to attack a person who is highly gifted and anointed with the spirit of insane. By making them go insane, they can steal everything they have. A thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Untimely death is a sign of witchcraft attacks. The dissolving of a marriage due to a strange woman or man is a sign of witchcraft attack. Israelites, you would be surprised by how many indigenous black people visit the workers of iniquity to destroy a person's marriage. The workers of iniquity love to use marine spirits to attack their victims. A lot of people lack self-control when it comes to sex. That is why sexual immorality plagued the Israelite community. Why do you believe some sons of Israel promote marriages with the strange woman? The power of the strange woman has plagued the sons of Israel for multiple generations. That is why our nation is divided into two kingdoms. King Solomon was the cause to that. The strange woman destroyed him. Today, many sons of Israel promote giving their sons and daughters to the strange woman and men, despite the Most High being against it. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, and destroy thee suddenly. The Israelites have a history of rebelling against the Most High. Remember, the sin of rebellion is like the sin of witchcraft. You cannot separate witchcraft from idolatry. Israelites, when the Most High allow you to see what is happening to your spirit behind the scenes, take advantage of the access given to you. When you know what spirit is attacking you, you successfully identify your target. Now you can properly deal with the devil through spiritual warfare. When you can't identify your target, your enemy has an advantage over you. If the spirit of poverty is a problem in your life and you're attacking the spirit of infirmity, the spirit of poverty will have a stronghold on your life while the spirit of infirmity will flee. A lot of Israelites misidentify their opponents. Some Israelites attack each other for what the Satans and the workers of iniquity do to them. Your misplaced anger is giving the workers of iniquity greater control over you. In addition, opening the door to other spirits to attack you. When will our people learn a kingdom that is divided cannot stand? And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Israelites, attack the power that give the workers of iniquity control over you. Attacking each other will only put you in spiritual bondage. I've always wondered why black people attack each other, then turn around to praise and welcome their enemies. The idols of the heathens you serve did this to you. You would think that being in the awakening would change the behaviors of our people. For some Israelites, the awakening has increased the lawlessness in them. Some Israelites are now using the scriptures to justify their sins. Israelites, it's a privilege to be able to see into the spirit realm. Don't take it for granted. I know a lot of you want to fight the workers of iniquity who attack you in the spirit. Israelites, don't fall into that trap. When you know the word, use it. The Most High is famous for sending their evil right back to them. Ask the Most High to return to the sender the evil seed they have sown. Israelites, don't you know what the words say about sowing? You reap what you sow. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Israelites, don't be afraid to send their wickedness right back to them. The word of the Most High support this. Don't fall into the trap of attacking the workers of iniquity in the flesh. Act as if you're unaware of their wickedness. In the spirit realm, send a sword against the dark powers attacking you. What you should do about the workers of iniquity, cast them into the hands of the Most High. The word said it is a fearful thing to be cast into the hands of the living God. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God.
No one can judge like the Most High can. The Most High despise the wicked and draw near to the righteous. If you're living a life that pleased the Most High, ask the Father to judge between you and them. Believe me, Israelites, when I say the Most High will judge them. In due time, their feet will slip. To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. The Most High is just in all of his ways. When you ask the Most High to judge between them and you, also ask the Most High for his favor. Israelites, don't fall into the trap of confronting a witch or a warlock and fighting them in the flesh. You're only making the matter worse. When the workers of iniquity know you're aware of their wickedness, they will place a heavier chain on you. The Messiah told his disciples to be wise like a serpent and harmless as doves. Let them underestimate you. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. When the workers of iniquity come against you, the Most High will set embushments for them, just as he did to the enemies of Judah when a great multitude gathered against Judah for battle. The king of Judah at that time, Jehoshaphat, humbled himself and petitioned the Most High. The king did not say, I am from the tribe of Judah, a descendant of David and the Messiah. I will destroy them because I am chosen. This is how a lot of Israelites in the awakening respond to the other species of mankind that dismiss their claims. The spirit of pride consumed them. King Jehoshaphat humbled himself and made all Judah humble themselves. They prayed, fast, and seek the face of the Most High for help, and the Most High responded. It came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon, and with them other beside the Ammonites, came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side Syria, and behold, they be in Hazazon Tamar, which is En Gedi. And Jehoshaphat feared, and set himself to seek the Lord, and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord, even out of all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. But the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, every one helped to destroy another. The Most High will intervene on your behalf against the workers of iniquity if you serve him in the spirit and in truth. If your ways please him, he will make your enemies at peace with you. When they gather against you, the scriptures say they will gather. The word said, all who gather against you will fall. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Israelites, know the word. Your enemies can't stand against the word of the Most High. They have no choice but to flee. To the people who deny the spirit realm, the Most High said, if there's a prophet among you, I will make myself known to him in a vision and speak with him in a dream. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. The scripture in the book of Numbers revealed that the Most High speak with his prophets in a dream. How many so-called prophets in the awakening hear the Most High in a dream? How are you a prophet of the Most High and you don't have any knowledge about the spirit realm nor teach the people about the spirit realm? Many are called, but only a few are chosen. The Most High did say in the book of Jeremiah that he did not call nor appoint some of these prophets. Israelites, be careful on who you listen to in the awakening. The spirit realm should not be a taboo to our people, especially if we're spiritual beings. The Most High said in the last days, he will pour out his spirit on all flesh. His sons and daughters will prophesy and dream dreams. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit. 
and they shall prophesy. How are you receiving those prophecies and dreams if you don't know anything about the spirit realm? Israelites, don't neglect what you're learning about the spirit realm. The truth you're learning about the spirit realm will not correspond with the half truth in the beast culture. A lot of our people are religious and they still approach the word of the most high the way they were taught in religion. Let me remind you that religion is sorcery. The workers of iniquity disguise themselves as high priests, pastors, prophets, evangelists, and many other titles they give themselves. In the indigenous black community, some of them are known as herbalists and many other names. Just as Satan disguised himself as an angel of light, his ministers disguise themselves as well. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Israelites, there's a lot of workers of iniquity among us. There's a lot of people in and out of the awakening that seek the workers of iniquity. Most of these people are self-righteous. Shift your focus to the most high. Team up with the Father to triumphant over your enemies. As the road get narrow and the Most High is exposing the secrets of his people and the heathens, repent and humble yourselves. Don't let the workers of iniquity drag you into the lake of fire with them. Make up your mind today to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. Use the word of the Most High. Israelites, defeat your enemies in the spirit realm and watch them fall in the physical realm. Deliver me from mine enemies, O oh my God. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me. Not for my transgression, nor for my sin, O oh Lord. They run and prepare themselves without my fault. Awake to help me and behold. Thou therefore, O Lord, God of hosts, the God of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Selah.